Hello everybody, this is Stringer but back for round 7 of the Spooky Showdown Tournament. In this session, we're going to see up first Lanzusaurus taking on Gastonia. Defeat for Gastonia will all but end their top 4 hopes. Then we have T-Rex taking on Diceratop. A win for T-Rex could put them top, well temporarily until the Sorophagonax plays. But a win for Diceratops could put them up the second. Then up next, we got Black T-Rex taking on Sejuangosaurus. Going to be a big ask for the Purple Predator, that. Then we have a clash at the top between Sorophagonax and Irritator. And we will conclude with our main event of this evening. It's Eoraptor versus Eocarcaria. Go Spectre versus Goma. Defeat for either of those two will all but end their top four hopes. But first, let's get on with um, Lanzusaurus versus Gastonia, shall we? Okie dokie. In the, the red, red corner, corner. it's the power sapping machine, it's Lanzusaurus. Lanzusaurus enjoying a decent tournament. And well, in this matchup against Gastonia, who's currently rooted bottom and with tight advantage, they'll be quite the favourite here. In the blue corner, he's full of wind, he's Gastonia. Gastonia, well, they know defeat here. Officially ends their top four hopes, but let's be honest, I don't. I think their top four hopes are over anyway. I mean, I'm not mathematically certain, but I'm, I'm about 90% certain that Gastonia can't finish top four. And yeah, with the type disadvantage as well, the Lanzusaurus is going to be a strong favourite here. Oh my, oh my. See what I mean? Lanzusaurus put a pretty poor showing against the T-Rex. Didn't get a hit on the board, but looking to make up for it here. And in fact, if they win this quick, they'll get a lot of points as well, which could be crucial come the end game. So Lanzusaurus... Gotta be absolutely ruthless, which it is. And that all but ends Gastonia's hopes for a top four finish. While at the same time, giving Lanzusaurus' chances a considerable boost. Claiming a massive 900 points. Which I actually think is the most you can get out of one of these battles. Onto our second match. Okie dokie. In the blue, in the red corner. We got the apex tyrant of the Cretaceous. It's T-Rex. T-Rex, well, it was, an en it was an enigma at first, but it it's really started to get going here. And another win here will put them top for the time being. And more importantly, we'll put them six clear of this of their opponent of the day. This orange killer is Diceratops. A win for Diceratops here will put them level on points with the T-Rex. So yeah, an important match this could be. If Diceratops wins here, they'll give their top four hopes a real chance. Lose and well, it'd be a tough ask. Being cut, being potentially being cut adrift with two to play. Ooh, that's a tie. Ties will suit Diceratops though. It does have the plasma anchor. Oh, that's not good. That's not good for Diceratops. Oh, this could be big for the T-Rex. And if a quick win means they'll get more points. Diceratops in dire straits here. Oh no, game over. <laughs> quick as a wink. Diceratops getting extinguished by the T-Rex. Well, going down in flames, I should say. Oh, bless it. It's twitching. <laughs> And that's another big win for the T-Rex, which puts him, for the time being, top. Let's move on to our third match. We've had some quick matches so far. Let's hope we have some more nail biters. Oh, oops. <laughs> I gave Laura a black T-Rex. Damn it. Supposed to swipe Seth. Oh, well. In the red corner. He's the big, bad dino destroyer. It's black T-Rex. Black T-Rex finally showing his overwhelming power in this tournament. In the blue corner, it's our prickly purple little pesky predator. He's Sejuangosaurus. Well, 
if the term, if you want to define the term underdog, it's Sejuanosaurus in this match. Because this, well, going up against the tournament favourite. Not to mention that tournament favourite is a fire type as well. And defeat here, given the other results, will pretty much end Sejuanosaurus' top four hopes. Yeah, Black T-Rex, overwhelming favourite here. But, Sejuanosaurus has done it before. It can be done. I think Tide will suit it though. Chip away at that Black T-Rex's HP. But, it is losing its own HP at the same time. That was a crit. It's a good start. But yeah, look at that. That's a crit. A Jack Shuriken. Can Sejuanosaurus pull this off? And if they do, they pretty deserve top four. <laughs> Black T-Rex getting his first hit of the match. Okay, it's not Fire Cannon. It's probably the best case scenario here if you're going to get hit. Ooh, Seiji so gets another crit. Well, this is an interesting match here. Can Sejuanosaurus pull this off? Can they get a draw? The death fire has been triggered. Oh no! Black T Rex gets the death fire, and that will spark the death of the Sejuanosaurus in this tournament because they're not going to get top four now. And Black T Rex breathing a huge, fiery sigh of relief. Oof. Not the win they would have wanted, but they'll take it. Sejuanosaurus on the brink of the upset, but they just couldn't see it home. And unfortunately for our little purple predator, we will not be seeing them in the finale. Okie dokie, on to our fourth match. Okie dokie, in the red corner. We've got the North American Cowboy Lizard in Master. It's Sir Faganax. But Sir Fagranax currently sitting third by virtue of the fact that T-Rex and Black T-Rex have more points than it. Well, battle points that is. But a win or a draw here and Sir Fagranax will go back to the top of the tree. In the blue corner though. The dino that makes you mad, makes you irritated, it's Irritator. Irritator also enjoying a fine tournament here and does have the type advantage in this matchup so Sir Fagranax won't have it all his own way. I say that, I want you to get every hit now. <laughs> but not a win here for Irritator. Put them back in the top four. They've kind of gone off the boil a bit. They do need to get back the winning ways, because it's... As it stands, they are five adrift of the, of the uh, threesome up top. And that is a very good way to get going. And that's going to be big damage for the Sorrow Faganax. Look at that. Tie. That type advantage is paying dividends so far for Irritator. And that might do it. And that does it. Wow. A demolishing from the Irritator. And Sorrow Faganath licking his wounds, dropping down to third. That could be a crucial win for Irritator there, taking advantage of his type advantage there. Well played. Now then, on to our main event of this evening where it's win or bust between Eoraptor and Eocarcaria. Spectre versus Goma. Alrighty then, in the red corner. From the dawn of the dinosaur's rule, it's Eoraptor. Ooh, wow, Eoraptor really is fighting fire with fire in this tournament. Faces Lanzasaurus, goes Lambiosaurus. Faces Gastonia, plays Stegosaur. Playing Eocarcaria, going Sorofaganax. Hmm, bit of mind games here, isn't it? Because Sorofaganax defeated Eocarcaria in round two. Maybe Eeyore up the trines of mind games. In the blue corner, we got the Dawn Shark of Africa, the Speedster. I don't know if it's that fast, but it's Eocarcaria. Eocarcaria, as I 
after that slow start that, you know, has kind of been hot and cold. Not not been firing on all cylinders. When you compare it to the other fire types in this tournament, the Yoko Kira is kind of a bit of disappointment. We'll see what happens. A win. Well, both of these guys need to win. Defeat here will end their top four hopes. Oh, and that's just what Eel Raptor wants. Because Heat Eruption's going to get activated. Boogadoosh! Beating Goma with his own move there. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good start from Eel Raptor there. And the Blender effect is activated as well. Here comes Heat Eruption again. Well, re rewind and replay, because we got some Heat Eruptions to do. Boosh, 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 boosh. And look at this from Eeyore after all of a sudden. We're not really getting ahead. Let's take Eeyore Karkiria up to the brink. And well, Eeyore Karkiria has to get this next hit. And doesn't! Oh, is that it? I think that's going to be lethal. Down goes Eeyore area And with that defeat, Eeyore area's hopes of a top four finish have ended. And Eeyore Raptor. What a win for Eeyore Raptor. Could they make a late, late surge into that top four? Well, that's going to conclude round seven. We'll tally up the points, see where everyone's at the ta in the table, and end the session. We have a change of leaders at the top, with T-Rex taking the top spot now, with 15 points and a massive 4,364 battle points. That could be crucial going into the last two rounds as well. Then we have Black T-Rex in second place, the tournament favourite. Sir Faganax dropping down to third, its low battle points count could cost it dearly. Irritator in fourth place. Getting back, getting back the winning ways with 13 points there. Lanzusaurus in fifth place on 12. Then we have Diceratops and Eoraptor in sixth and seventh. And poor old Sejuangosaurus, Eocarcaria, and Gastonia in the bottom three. Irrit yeah, they're not top four's done. For now, that will conclude this session. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Don't forget to ding the bell so you don't miss out on the last two rounds of this tournament. And until then, Ta-ta!